What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs? How are y'all doing today? Hope y'all are doing good. Y'all like my intros? I'm starting to get used to that now with, with using the apps and uh, getting my intro set up and uh, doing a little video logging or vlogging, as you kids would say it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it, guys. I think my build is complete. I think she's ready. This is my uh, Player Sportsman 850. I know it's been a while since I made my last video. Uh, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and get this out today. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cut into it. And then I'm going to do another video on um, on things that I carry when I, uh, when I go riding and stuff like that. So uh, let's get into it, guys. And here she is. So... Those of you who haven't been able to follow along, uh, we started with uh, new tires, new wheels. I got the uh, one inch spacers on there. And uh, man, I got to say, it makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. Um, I painted the grab bars here. Just to give it a little accent, got the Polaris up front, got the grill, um, gas cap, that's new, uh, hand grips, got blue hand grips on there. I can't remember if I did this in, uh, in my last video, but uh, I was saying how I kind of regretted it because it shows up the dirt a little bit more, but I realized that whenever I wash it, when I take the, take the rag, dirt comes right off pretty easy so i think i might stick with it uh i might change them back to black i'm not sure yet but anyway i like the light blue accent because it just gives it makes it stand out you can see them back here and they're not perfect uh they're not painted perfect you know i just i took them off um sanded them down a little bit Put a coat of primer, a couple of coats of paint, a couple of coats of clear coat. Um, I don't think I am let it set long enough because it's already rubbing off here when I'm going through the trails and stuff like that. But still looks good. Still give it an accent. Um, see, we got the hand grips, gas cap, the painted accent. I did it on the back too. I don't know if you can see that. I got a little more touch-up work to do on the bottom of it. Probably do that later on today. Let's go all the way around here. But I, I'm happy. I'm excited. I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. The one-inch spacers. These tires. My God, it makes a big difference, guys. It makes a big difference. Um, I think I'm going to pretty much keep it like this. Uh, like I said, I don't do, I'm not the mudding type. I, I'm not going to put this in mud. I'm not going to do the snorkel kit and rad relocate. Um, I'm, I'm not into that. I, you know, I like to do trail riding, going down trails, rock climbing, stuff like that. That's what I'm going to use this for. Um, but other than that, I think I'm going to keep it like this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I had a couple of people question me about some of the parks that I went to how they how are they down here in San Antonio Texas um, they're not bad really they're not bad uh, honestly I've only been to a couple and um, it's not that bad there's a park here called 281 Country Club it's mainly for mudding um, it's not a huge park but it's, it's decent I mean it gets you through you know if you want to get out and do a little bit of riding but uh, uh, I'm going to be making another trip uh, to Marble Falls to another ATV park called uh, Hidden Falls. So that's going to be coming up here in the next couple of months. And uh, I can't wait to take this baby out and put her through her paces. She, she's a little dirty right now because I, of course, had to uh, take it out and test out everything and see how she feels with the new tires and the wheels and the spacers 
And uh, I think I was saying this in my last video, trying to get the, uh, get the four wheeler in the back of my truck now with these one inch spacers on there. My God, it's a tight fit. It is a very tight fit and, uh, you know, makes it a little bit difficult trying to unload it. And, uh, so I might have to get a trailer whenever I want to take it to a different location. Um, I don't want to take those spacers off. I, I think it looks badass. It, the handling on it, it makes a big difference. And I don't know if it's the tires that are making a difference or if it's the wheel spacers or, or a combination of the both. All I know is you can tell the difference. It's not a magnificent, huge difference. But if you've been riding it stock one way and then you get these spacers and these tires and then you ride it again, you're going to tell the difference. And I can tell the difference and, and I love it. I love it. But anyway, guys, this is it. This is my baby. She's called Bad Bitch. And uh, she's named that for a reason. So, uh, like I said, guys, let me know what you think. Hopefully, it give you some ideas on what you can do on yours. And then, uh, that's about it. So, this is going to be my next build here. I've already had it in the shop for a while. Actually, for a few months because it had an oil leak that I couldn't track down for the life of me. So, I had to take it in. I got it done. They figured it out. Some kind of oil line that's on the outside of the motor. Um, I can't get to it from here, but they got that figured out and got that fixed. So, I mean, she runs, she starts. Um, if anything, I'll use this to go into the mud. But um, I got another issue with the radiator that's constantly leaking. Um, no matter how I try to plug it or seal it, it's, it's still leaking. So. I went ahead and ordered another radiator and I uh, got that coming. Um, I got a valve stem here that's that's bad. Um, so I got a, a valve stem um, remover kit that I'm gonna get that fixed later on today. And waiting for the radiator to come in. I'm gonna get that in there. And then I'm gonna order some other parts. Um, I got this back in May of last year when my son and I were first getting into four wheeling and uh, it was a good little buy, and, and it's a nice little bike. It, it is. It, I mean, it's a beast. She's not much to look at, but uh, it's a beast. She moves. and uh, But uh, that's going to be my next build. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, she's a lot of work that needs it, that needs done to this. But, yeah, that's it for now. This is my baby, and this is my build, and I think she's complete. Let me know what you guys think, all right? Until then, have fun, be safe, peace.